In a museum in Greece, an employee is telling the story of a mythical staff mentioned in Homer's tales, which was said to be able to channel the power of all the gods. While the man is explaining the artifact, two people in Spartan military armor arrive in front of the exhibition and start trying to tamper with the object, breaking the protective glass. This forces the employee to call security. With their staffs in hand, the two people remove their helmets and reveal themselves to be Hespera and Calypso, the two eldest daughters of Atlas. As soon as they touch the staff, the women get their powers back and Calypso uses her mind control magic on the security guards, turning them into zombie servants who spread the magic to other people, leaving everyone hypnotized. Panicked, people begin to flee and the museum closes the security bars to prevent the women from leaving, condemning everyone to stay with them. Tired of all this chaos, Hespera uses her elemental powers to disintegrate the marble sculptures and bind the humans with the material, turning all the visitors into statues in an exhibition. Now with the staff in hand, Calypso says that they should immediately go after the champion chosen by the wizard Shazam, but Hespera disagrees, saying that they should act carefully, as they are outnumbered, and she believes that the wizard wouldn't have chosen just anyone useless to inherit his powers. In Philadelphia, Billy Batson is transformed into Shazam, venting to his pediatrician as if he were a psychologist. Unhappy with the direction his life is taking, the superhero says that even after gaining superpowers, his brothers are no longer interested in fighting together, with each wanting to pursue their own lives without fighting crime, which hurts him enormously. After the appointment, Billy goes home and starts spending the day as he always does, playing video games. But when his brother Fred starts to get ready to go out for no apparent reason, Batson finds it suspicious and picks up the boy's phone, discovering that he is listening to the police radio and that all units are being called to help with a bridge collapse. Excited, Billy says that everyone should help and Freddy rejects, but ends up accepting to please Billy, as he always does. So the boy calls all his brothers and they leave to attend to the incident. On the Benjamin Franklin Bridge, a fire truck overturned, causing a large explosion and damaging the entire suspended structure. As a result, the asphalt begins to crack and the steel cables begin to give way, spreading panic among the people who try to run before the bridge collapses. Because of the enormous weight, the entire foundation cannot hold and the cars begin to fall into the Delaware River, only to be saved at the last second by the members of the Shazam family. While his brothers save the people below, Peter tries to weld the cables back in place to keep the bridge standing, but for every cable he mends, five new ones break in place. In a very short time, the Shazam family manages to get all the civilians out of the danger area and they decide to try to stop the collapse to close the deal. However, they end up failing in their second mission. After the disastrous action, Billy decides to arrange a meeting with his family and goes after Eugene, who is mapping the door room a place full of portals that lead to various other places in the universe. After a few minutes of searching, Billy finally finds his brother being expelled by a gigantic monster and decides to take him back to the meeting room. When the conversation starts, Batson tries to point out each other's mistakes and suggest how they should improve their teamwork, but Mary doesn't seem interested and just sits there studying organic chemistry. At the same time, Fred makes up an excuse to leave and Eugene says he needs a shower because the monster's drool is eating away at his skin, accompanied by the other brothers who also leave Billy completely alone in the meeting room. At school, Freddy is walking through the corridors when he bumps into Anne, a new student who is looking for a specific room. As he knows where the place is, the boy offers to take her when a couple of bullies show up and start giving Freddy hell, even bending his crutch just as one of the school staff arrives to help him. With the situation calmer, Freddy takes Anne into the living room, while bragging about his closeness to the heroes, telling her that once Superman himself came to have lunch with him in the cafeteria. In the realm of the gods, Hespera and Calypso go to the dungeon where the wizard Shazam is chained. Face to face with the sorcerer, the sisters say that they have brought gifts and reveal that they have recovered their elemental and chaos magic powers, as well as showing that they have the sorcerer's old staff, making him curious to know what happened to the champion. With no time to talk, the sisters use telekinesis and pull the wizard closer to the railing, using their psychic powers and the mind control magic to force him to unite the two halves of the staff. With the job done, the man holds the staff and tries to snatch it from the sisters' hands, only to be repelled by Hespera's power. 
However, he still manages to get a small splinter stuck in his finger and use it to make an incantation, sending a secret message to the champion. In Paris, Shazam is having dinner with Wonder Woman when suddenly the wizard's face appears on Diana's body and starts shouting at him, warning that the daughters of Atlas are coming and that they will take over all of humanity, including Billy's family. Finally, the wizard begins to tell him how to prevent this from happening, but the magic of the splinter runs out before he can finish his message and Billy wakes up. The next morning, Fred is in the cafeteria when Anne appears and asks the boy to show him where he sat with the heroes, but Billy shows up wanting to hold an emergency meeting and won't let his brother be alone with the girl. With everyone together, Shazam tells them about the dream he had about the wizard and various other things he discovered about the daughters of Atlas on Google, but as he had little time to research, he asks the brothers to help him find out new information. Thinking about it, Peter says he knows someone who can help and shows him a secret passage he found while exploring the Stone of Eternity, leading to a gigantic library. There, the boy introduces his brothers to Stevie, a magic pen that has all the knowledge in the world. Knowing this, Billy decides to ask about the daughters of Atlas and Steve makes a list of all the books that tell the story of the women, making the research work immensely easier. While his brothers work, Fred takes Anne to the school terrace where they talk a little more about the boy's friendship with the superhero. To impress her, he asks her if she'd like to meet a superhero and starts walking away as if he were calling a friend, transforming and then coming back, but without saying that he's still Freddy. Alone with Anne, the boy takes the opportunity to flatter himself, inventing one absurd story after another just to boost his morale. In the library, Billy and his brothers finally gather enough information and pool their knowledge, discovering that the staff was created by Atlas himself using wood from the Tree of Life. According to Mary, this weapon was capable of absorbing and storing the powers of the other gods, like a magic mega battery, but when the war between gods and titans ended, some human magicians took the staff and used its powers to imprison the other deities, granting their powers to the object's champion. While gathering more information, the group sees the news about the attack on the museum and immediately suspects that the two people responsible were Atlas' daughters, but one thing puzzles Peter. The book says that Atlas had three daughters, Hespera, Calypso and the youngest, Anthea. When he hears the name of the third girl, Billy immediately remembers that Fred was talking to Anne and decides to set off to meet them, already guessing that she is Anthea, but before he can even get there, Hespera and Calypso also appear on the terrace and push the boy away, hitting him with the staff and turning him back into his normal form. Still unable to understand what has happened, Freddy tries to transform again and realizes that his powers have been completely sucked up by the staff, making it impossible for him to continue fighting. Wanting the location of the others, Hespera kicks Freddy's crutch and starts questioning him, but Calypso sees Billy flying in the distance and replies that this won't be necessary. To prevent Shazam from reaching them, Anthea uses her powers and begins to rearrange the structure of the surrounding buildings, causing several buildings to get in the hero's way until he collides, but the rest of the family is coming right behind and that alone won't be enough. Seeing this as the perfect opportunity, Calypso says that they must take power from everyone at once, but Anthea and Hespera remember that they came after the Seed of Life and that they must go ahead with the plan. As soon as everyone gets close enough, the eldest sister decides to capture Freddy and starts flying towards the sky while raising a dome around the whole of Philadelphia. To save his brother, Shazam flies after the women and decides to try to break through the barrier with one of his lightning bolts, but the object seems indestructible and Billy just watches as his brother is taken away. In the realm of the gods, Freddy wakes up next to the wizard Shazam and begins to think of ways to escape the dungeon, but the wizard says he can't do anything to help, as he has passed all his powers on to Billy. On Earth, Shazam is studying the sisters' powers when he has the idea of setting up a meeting to talk. To do this, they go to the Great Library where Stevie gives them some magical scrolls that are used to communicate with the gods, transforming themselves into paper birds and flying to the entity that needs to receive the note. Back in the Divine Realm, Hespera arranges an audience with Freddy and decides to ask him the real names and ages of the other five champions, but as the boy refuses to answer, Calypso decides to take action and use her power of chaos to make the boy feel terrible pain. Even so, Freddy manages to resist her mind control magic and won't say anyone's name, forcing the woman to take drastic measures. 
But just as she's about to take matters into her own hands, Hespera receives the parchment Billy sent her and orders her sister to stop so she can read it. In the message, Batson says that violence is not the solution and decides to propose a trade. The powers of the five for Freddy's life. Deciding to accept, Calypso prepares to go ashore and orders her men to throw the pair into the well so that they can deal with Layden. The guardian of the Garden of Atlas, capable of spreading fear wherever he goes. Completely panic-stricken, Freddy and the wizard just watch as the beast prepares to devour them, but at the last second they are both saved by Anthea, who, despite also being a daughter of Atlas, is in love with Fred and wants to be on the side of the humans. To help them, the girl leaves them in a labyrinth, telling them that the door that leads to the human world is right in the center, as well as giving them all the instructions on how to get there. On Earth, Shazam meets Hespera and asks her to return Fred and remove the dome around the city, but as the woman refuses and insists on having her powers back, Billy has no choice but to call the rest of the family to fight. Already expecting this, Calypso comes out of hiding and uses her staff to absorb Peter's powers, starting the battle right in the center of the city. Working as a team, Darla distracts the goddess of chaos while Eugene hits her with an electric charge that sends her flying, but Hespera keeps her guard up and lands a kick on Billy, using her powers to paralyze Eugene and Darla immediately afterwards. Across the street, Billy gets up and flies towards the older sister, sinking her to the ground and freeing his siblings. However, things don't look good underground and Hespera proves to be infinitely superior, trapping Shazam and throwing him against one of the beams. At that moment, Mary and Darla also arrived in the basement and set out to help their brother, grabbing the woman's arms and throwing her to the ground. To repay the blow he received, Billy goes to Hespera and does the same as his sisters, throwing her so hard that she opens a crater in the ground. Still, the woman is not defeated and takes advantage of a moment of distraction by the heroes to trap the girls with some wires while smashing a wooden box on top of Billy. Soon after, Hespera walks up to Shazam and starts slamming his body against the wall endlessly, completely destroying the place. Finally, the woman uses her powers to assemble a giant ball of junk to throw at the hero, but at the last second, Shazam uses his super speed to switch places with the woman and make her be crushed with her own power, freeing Darla and Mary from their bonds. With the woman unconscious, Billy picks her up and takes her to the nearest chemical toilet, which acts as a kind of portal to the hiding place in the Stone of Eternity. Finally rescued, the brothers put Hespera in a cell and set off for the library to dictate the letter suggesting they swap Fred for the woman, without realizing that she still has her powers and has already used them to melt the cell gate. In the meeting room, Darla selects the jelly beans she likes the least and decides to take them so that Hespera can feed herself, finding the prison completely empty. In the great library, the woman picks up an old apple from the table and goes straight to the door room, coming out into the labyrinth of the dungeon just as Fred and the wizard were about to escape. Finally home, Hespera removes the layer of dirt from the apple, which is actually the fruit of the Tree of Life. That was her plan all along. To be captured so that she could enter the Stone of Eternity and recover the divine fruit. Seeing the apple in Hespera's hands, the wizard Shazam immediately understands what has happened and decides that the fruit cannot be left in their hands, starting a mission to recover the artifact. In the main hall, Hespera shows the seed to her sisters who intend to replant the fruit and reclaim the kingdom of the gods, but unlike her sisters, Calypso doesn't think this is enough and intends to plant the tree of life on planet Earth, completely destroying the world. In the Stone of Eternity, Billy and the others start looking for the door that the woman entered until they find her scent in one of the passageways and start following the scent. While the sisters are debating what to do, Fred breaks into the main hall and sneaks around the statues until he catches the fruit, but when he finally does, he bumps into the pedestal, which falls to the ground and alerts the sisters to his presence. To end the threat, Hespera picks up her staff and prepares to eliminate Fred, when suddenly, a strange sound echoes through the hall and distracts the sisters, allowing Shazam to take the weapon from the eldest's hands. Despite this, Billy is completely useless and throws the staff in his brother's direction, which is easily recovered by Calypso. In the middle of the confusion, Fred puts his crutch against his staff and fully recovers his powers, allowing him to escape with the apple, while Billy takes the wizard back to Earth. After almost being robbed, Hespera takes the staff from Calypso's hands and tries to convince her to change her mind, 
but the Sister of Chaos seems determined and uses the artifact to summon Leyden so that he can pursue the humans. Desperate, the young people leave the Stone of Eternity and start flying around the city while being chased by Atlas' lunatic daughter. Thinking they've lost the dragon, the siblings stop at a junkyard and begin to devise a plan, but Calypso manages to track them down and removes Fred, Eugene and Darla's powers with extreme ease. Knowing why, Billy shows the fruit of life to the woman and throws it up in the air, allowing Mary to catch the apple and start flying away from the rest of the family. However, as she has to dodge both the dragon and the goddess, the girl ends up being hit by the staff in midair, losing her powers completely. Having to choose between saving his sister and recovering the apple, Billy decides to rescue the girl and take her safely to her family, while Calypso plants the seed of life in the middle of a baseball stadium, growing a gigantic tree with roots that spread everywhere, giving life to the most famous creatures of Greek mythology, such as minotaurs, harpies, cyclops and even the bizarre chimeras. From the top of a building, Billy and his family watch the chaos spread when Anthea arrives to say that she will try to convince Hespera to reverse everything. When she meets up with her sisters, the youngest argues that the appearance of the tree is quite sick and that they should use the powers of the fruit to rebuild the kingdom of the gods, not destroy that of the humans. Convinced by her sister, Hespera recognizes that Calypso is following the path of Hades and decides that she will put an end to all this madness, but Leyden is under the control of her middle sister and pierces the chest of the goddess of the elements, leaving her on the brink of the end. Realizing that Anthea is with the humans, Calypso decides to use the staff to remove her younger sister's powers, who uses her ability to distort space and move to the other side of the dome, but the staff is so powerful that it still manages to hit her, turning Anthea into an ordinary human. Being the only one still with powers, Billy asks his family to lure the creatures away from the stadium while he takes the staff and deals with the dragon. To do this, the group goes to the center of town and starts running over the minotaurs, but as they know that this alone won't be enough, Darla has the idea of asking Stevie what the monsters are afraid of. According to the enchanted pen, everyone fears the unicorn, which in Greek mythology is considered the king of beasts. Fearful. The wizard Shazam says that unicorns are dark creatures and extremely different from the ponies in children's stories, but Darla still wants to use them and decides to ask Stevie what they like, discovering that the creatures live in dark caves and feed on ambrosia, the nectar of the gods. With an idea in mind, the youngest of the family manages to convince her siblings to get out of the van and together with the wizard set off in search of a unicorn. However, Fred sees Anthea lost in the crowd and decides to break away from the rest of the group to talk to her. After searching for some time, Shazam finally manages to find the dragon and lands a punch so powerful that it knocks the creature through a building, but Calypso doesn't let up and orders the creature to release a puff that sets the superhero's uniform ablaze. On the ground, Billy dodges the first blows and throws a car that hits the dragon right in the jaw, allowing him to attack Calypso with all his might only to be absorbed by the staff. Realizing this, Shazam decides that he will try to overload the staff and goes to Hespera to wake her up and ask if this is possible. With the woman awake, Billy tells her what he's realized and she confirms that if he overloads the staff, its magical core will act as a bomb that will blow up everything inside the dome. After some time searching, Darla finally finds a hidden unicorn and begins to call out to the creature, which rushes towards her. Although the others were frightened, the girl stood still in front of the mythological being, throwing a bunch of rainbow jelly beans in his direction. Thanks to this, the unicorn manages to break at the last second and starts devouring the jelly beans, which, according to the girl, taste extremely similar to ambrosia. With this, she wins the loyalty of the unicorns and starts riding around the city repelling all the creatures of Greek mythology, making them flee and dominating the whole city with sweets. Near the exit of the city, Fred and Anthea join a group of civilians when Calypso rides up on Leyden, forcing the soldiers to shoot. To get rid of the youngest, the Sister of Chaos orders Leyden to use the mind control to eliminate them both. But since Fred has never been mentally healthy, the boy manages to resist the powers and help Anthea out of her loneliness. Just then, Billy comes up behind the dragon and pulls it by the tail, snatching the staff from Calypso's hands and flying towards the Tree of Life. As soon as they approach the apple, Hespera uses her powers to lower the protective dome around the tree as the boy requested, so that Shazam can make his final sacrifice. 
As part of the plan, Billy goes to the center of the stadium and starts electrocuting the dome, causing the rays to bounce off and hit the staff, energizing and preparing for the final blow. When the thief starts to move, Billy decides to get in the middle of the dragon's magic fire and try to hit him anyway, but he ends up being badly hurt and has to dodge. On the second attempt, Shazam flies straight at Layden and punches him in the face, knocking the creature's jaw open. He dodges the blow and lands another punch straight after, almost knocking the monster out. At that moment, Billy senses that the staff is fully charged and decides to deliver his final blow, advancing towards the enemy and shouting, Shazam! Which ends up causing an explosion so powerful inside the dome that it turns it completely white, as well as knocking out the electricity of the entire state. As a result, Hespera's body falls apart and the dome suffers the same fate, as well as the creatures that Darla managed to lead to the center, but everything has a price. As a result of the magical explosion, Billy's body was extremely damaged and the boy ended up losing his life in front of his entire family. When the time comes to say goodbye, Anthea makes a point of burying him at the foot of a tree in the realm of the gods. Curious, Darla asks if there is a way to save the kingdom and the wizard replies that only a god can do that, and now there are no more gods alive. At that moment, Wonder Woman appears saying that she still has one and takes the staff from the magician's hands, slamming the object to the ground and returning everything to its natural state, including Anthea's powers. Finally, Diana handed the staff back to the wizard and started walking towards the horizon, but the magic was so powerful that it even brought Billy back to life. Happy, the boy embraces his friends and together they celebrate his resurrection, as well as the rebuilding of the kingdom of the gods and peace on earth. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie